Hello everyone and welcome, this is Alex, the architect for back 4 app and in today's episode of our Parse Crash Course we will be talking about users. Parse already creates a user class for us, for convenience, and the user class differs from a regular Parse object because it already has some uh, properties set, the username and the password which is already encrypted and always hidden and also the email. So, the way I create a new user in parse, I go back to my code, is let user equals new parse.user. And then I can set those properties from users. So, user.set username and Alex K. The username is the login username that will be used for logging in. Then I can set user.set and password and let's type abc123 not a very strong password and lastly user.set email and I can put alex at alex.com The email is optional, you can or you cannot use it and then we can make a asynchronous call, so await user.save. This will create this user for me, so if I go back to my console and type node index.js and then go back to my Safari and reload, you have here my username, the password as I said is hidden and the email that I set. Those are the basic properties for a user, but I can set new ones. So, for instance, if I want to set a user telephone, let's create a new user, so Ricardo and Ricardo. And in order to set new properties, I just do just, just like a regular parse object. So, user.set and then start the telephone. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I can run it again. And if I reload, here I have Ricardo, and his password is also hidden, the email, and the telephone. I don't have a telephone because I didn't set one for my user. So, after we create those users, we can limit their experience and content based on their login. So, the first thing I have to do is log in with those users. The way we do that is let user equals parse.user.login. This method receives two parameters. First is the username, so Alex K. The second is the password, so ABC123. And this is a asynchronous call, so await. And the way we check if everything went well is if user, then I can console.log user successfully logged in and then I can retrieve uh, properties from that user so user.get and email so if I go back there and not index.js I can see I retrieved my email and was successfully logged in but what if something goes wrong then I'll get an exception so let's get a wrong password index.js there you go, I got an exception invalid username password that I have to handle so this is how we set and log in new users in parse I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you on the next see you next episode of our parse crash course see you soon, bye bye